Fishy friends, welcome here at Bart's Fish Tales on another Fishy Friday. And today I'm going to cook you a stunning, delicious salmon tartare. Japanese inspired and it's quick and easy to make. It's a great appetizer, a snack, lunch. Well, let's kick off. We have some fresh salmon fillet. We have delicious smoked salmon from Alaska. We have red onion. We have kewpie. We have olive oil. We have lemon juice. We have spring onion, cheerful, quail egg, and we will have it on some toast. And we kick off with the fresh fillet. And I cut these into cubes. So make sure if you buy this salmon fillet, it's without the skin. So skin off, or you can take off the skin yourself. And then I give it a bit of extra flavor with smoked salmon. I love smoked salmon. And we have our smoked salmon from Cook Inlet in Alaska, which is a wild fishery um, for sockeye salmon. It's full of flavor. And Alaskan salmon, it's wild, it's sustainable, it's traceable and simply delicious. And it gives this extra flavor to the salmon tartare. I would use around two ounces, a bit over two ounces of fresh salmon fillet, which is around 60 gram, and half of the volume of half of the amount of smoked salmon um, per person. Well, and I'm making this dish for two persons right now. Okay, salmon is ready. Next one, red onion. One spring onion, take off the end parts, cut it lengthwise, and again, in very small pieces. And now we're going to add some creaminess, some silkiness, some extra flavor to the salmon tartare. I will add QP. QP is this Japanese mayonnaise. It's based on dashi, it's based on rice vinegar, and has this great umami flavor. I would say tablespoon. Here we go. That splash of olive oil. Boom, and then a few drops. Well, maybe a bit more than a few drops of lemon juice. Here we go. Black pepper. And I'm not using extra salt because the smoked salmon already has this saltiness. I will have a taste at the end. I give this a mix. Okay, so that's the base of the recipe, the salmon tartare, and I give it a taste. Mm. Saltiness is great. So I will top the salmon tartare off with a quill egg today. You can use any other egg instead, but I'm using a quill egg today. So what I do, I bring water to a boil, I switch the heat off, and then I'll have the quill eggs in for around two and a half, three minutes. And now I have, well, one quill egg per person. Okay. Cool them down, and then I will peel them. To serve the salmon tartare, I have some toast and now it's time to plate up. You can use a ring to have it really fancy, but I will serve it more in a rustic style. So here, we have the salmon tartare. Then I've got um, some cheerful. I love cheerful. It has this aniseed flavor. Some extra rings of spring onion. Does really well for the crunchiness, but also for the color. Bit of olive oil. Look at this. And then to finish it off, the quail egg. Wow, perfectly cooked. Here you go, a tartare of fresh and smoked salmon. Time for a taste. Wow, this is so good. The creaminess, the silkiness, and then the flavor of the salmon, the fresh salmon, the smoked salmon, and the crunchiness of the red onion, and the spring onion, and the aniseed flavor of the cheerful. It's such an easy and quick to make, but super, super, super delicious. You really should give this a try. Well, if you have any comments, any questions, please leave them down in the box below. And I hope to see you soon on another Fishy Friday.